Hello here and welcome to the third channel. Now today we're doing a brand new video. Episode 2 of TV Rumble. TV Rumble. TV TV Rumble. TV Rumble. TV TV Rumble. TV Rumble. Shorter episode this week because because I'll tell you why it's a shorter episode this week and I'm sorry if I do start spinning the reason why it's a shorter episode this week is because we haven't got as much to talk about so let's start off with the main news the main talking points the bit that you hear the reason why so you've seen in the trailer uh, in the trailer in the thumbnail the front cover of Neighbours and Witchfinder uh, and let's start off with the non let's start off with the the saddest news. Neighbours, the Australian soap opera that started on BBC in two thousand eight, moved to Channel Five. Sadly, after thirty seven years, is being axed. Now, that made me sad. Whoa, neighbours, everybody needs good neighbours. When the friendly help in morning We'll find a better place Neighbours Should be there for one another As when good neighbours become good friends See, it's the mind of Tom Mason I, I, I randomly start singing the neighbours name tune Yes, they have announced officially that it's going to end this summer they're going to get some old cast members back in it fingers crossed for Jason Donovan and Kylie Minogue hopefully they come back as Kylie and Jason I think that was Jason Donovan's character was called yeah hopefully but it was weird that uh, a few years ago their on screen daughter was getting married and they weren't there at their on screen daughter's wedding that is a quite unusual thing about the the program itself but i am overall very excited for the final not as in like i can't wait it's like i can wait but i am excited to see if kyle Minogue or james donovan do return because they are fan favorites and most british people remember Kindly Jason and stop watching it so you'll get more views 1.5 million in the UK perfect you'll just get a little bit more that week because it's the final week and fans who were fans of it when it was on the BBC and haven't seen the Channel 5 stuff will come and say goodbye neighbours goodbye neighbours we've sorry you've got to go but budget doesn't last. Goodbye, neighbours. I'm so sad you're going. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. There we go. I'll stop singing now, though. So, next piece of news. Now that we've covered the fact that neighbours is ending for four minutes, we're going to move on to PBC Ghosts, Horrible Histories, Taskmaster, and Cleaner Wind British Comedy Guide Award. That's why you saw the British Comedy Guide logo in the thumbnail because they've won an award. Hooray! Hey! 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 Well done. Greg Davis made a video where he was congratulating Taskmaster and Cleaner. Um, we have had since then some Taskmaster news that I still want to talk about. I desperately want to talk about, but. I run nine YouTube channels. Number eight is Taskmaster World. So my excitement of the news I've got to share is on there. Right? I've been doing a lot of news lately because Russell T Davis for Doctor Who has been kicking off at, uh, his second era and being about Wall Studios and all sorts. So the main channel has been news. Tom Mason has been news focused and Taskmaster World will have a news video out today. Fingers crossed. Um, I just have to edit this one first. Next, we have The Witch Finder. Starts next Tuesday. It's a comedy 
starring Dana May Cooper from This Country and Taskmaster and Tim Key, best known for Please Like Taskmaster. Um, oh, uh, radio, no more jockeys, poetry, we need answers, all sorts. Can't mess everything off, but Tim Key is amazing. Tim Key, as some people call him, don't know why. Um, it looks really funny, probably not historical, like factually, but it does look funny. Next, we're rushing through this because the last video was like, 33 minutes long, and I'm like, no, mate, I'll make it shorter, mate. Next, we have Here We Go, which is a series starring six idiots, Jim Warwick, Warwick, Wattick, I don't know how you pronounce the last name, so I do apologise. It is based on their pilot pandemonium about a family holiday that goes wrong. Uh, one of the characters in the show is the cameraman. Fantastic concept. And there you go. That is the main talking point from Tom Mysore. The main talking point. The main talking point. The video almost over because you've just heard the main talking points. I'm spinning on a chair. I'm gonna spin back. I'm gonna use a table to help me spin back because it's the main talking points. The main talking points. The main talking points are over. Da -da -da -da. Woo! Now, we do recommendations. I have five recommendations. Things to recommend. Let's go. Let's do rapid fire. Ow. Number one, I hit my foot. Number one, screw. A comedy drama by Channel 4. Starring Derry Girls actress. Not Nicola Kaufman. The other one that I can't remember her name. I do apologise. Fantastic show. Well worth your watch. And number two. Is Star Truck. Star Struck 2. Not... To be confused with the ITV Stars and Your Eyes reboot, Starstruck. This is Rose Matafeo's sitcom, Starstruck. I watched it nearly all the day it came out. I was like, well, the day it came out, it came out at 10 o'clock. So 10 p.m. on BBC Three. Because BBC Three is now on TV. I watched the first three that night and then watched four, five, and six the next morning. So technically, it finished it all rather quickly. So, was it any good? Well, I want to do a Tom's TV show reviews on the whole of Starstruck, but briefly my thoughts are that the first series was amazing, incredible, but the second series wasn't as good as the first series, but still as funny. It's still, still got the funny aspect, but wasn't as good. That makes any sense whatsoever. Next we have the other one which is a sitcom about let's say how do I how do I put this? So uh, so the father has had two children born similar months but with two different women and they bump into each other at the funeral of the father and they've got the exact same first name and exact same last name because uh, it would be his last name, obviously. And it's got one series. Series 2 should be coming out this year. Because it was announced last year. Uh, Jamie Dunn's TV made her video where it said, Oh, there's two series. I don't know where she's been living. Because uh, there's only one series out. There isn't a second series just yet. Uh, next is The Fall. The Fall is a dramatic programme. I love, I love my dramas, I do. Uh, the Fall is about a psychopath, I think. No, a murderer. Yes, the joyful topic. Uh, it stars Gillian Anderson, who previously was in uh, X-Files. And uh, she's a cop in Ireland who's come home from Britain and joined the Task Force. Three series, it's amazing. I don't want to give too... It, it, like, the more you say of the fall, the more in the pot you'll spoil. And if you know too much about it going into it, you'll ruin your experience in watching it. So I have to give it a brief thing. 
And finally, the best thing I saw the other day, the other week, it is Freight! So, last year, I think, when um, Sarah McKendall was on Taskmaster, I watched series one of Freight, which is her sitcom situation comedy. And it was, I'll tell you this now, amazing, right? And I've been so excited and so excited and so excited for series two. And then finally, not last Wednesday, a few Wednesdays ago, they aired at 2am the first episode. And then all episodes were available straight after. So I spent from the hours of 6am to about 12.20 watching the whole first, second series, all six episodes, half down for each. Of Freight. It was amazing. I loved it. And she liked a thing I put on the interwebs about it. So hopefully I get to interview her. But it was an amazing show. Is there going to be a series 3? I hope so. Because it deserves a third outing. Because I think series 2 ended on a... I don't want to put this without spoiling the show. It ended on a cliffhanger. So it, you're expecting more, or just a one-off final, like, special episode, or a, or a one-off film, or or something on the lines of it. I'm going to put the iPad on charge. Something on the lines of that, because I don't think you could just end it from where it ended. Not giving away any spoils at all. But yeah, um... Now we come into a new segment. The end. That is the end. The end. The end. That was the end of the show. No, 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 no. It was the end of recommendation. Now we go into Tom Mason Channel News. The Weird Side Channel News. The news that isn't on TGM Productions. It probably will be at some point. But I wanted to make the statement here first. Ba ba boom. Pew! Pew, 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 pew. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. So, as you know, uh, we spoke about news, which is sadly that Neighbours have been axed, BBC Ghosts, Taskmaster, Horrible Histories, and um, Cleaner all won awards at the British Comedy Guide Awards for many different stuff. We had, we mentioned Screw, the other one, The Fall, Afraid. And now we get on to the new segment. Right, so, this channel is all about TV. TV! It's all about TV! Where I review TV! La la la! I am, I'm probably going to make another welcome video. You know, to welcome new viewers. So, to also incorporate some of my content. Content! Content! Content, 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 content. I'll probably do that after this, actually, because I had a good idea for it just then. So, what we're going to do is we're doing a new series for For the Love of I Dance. Adam Martin, brilliant Doctor Who YouTuber, highly recommend, also talks about I Dance. I Dance are the things that come at the beginning of a programme. And we don't just talk about the show itself, we also talk about the behind the scenes and stuff. And, Everything that goes into TV, and I want to talk about Ident. So, we're going to be talking about Ident without me falling off this chair. We're going to talk about Ident, which I am overly excited to talk about. Uh, for the love of Ident, will be coming soon. Thank you. So, with that, whoop, without me falling off the chair, I'll bring the camera to me. With that, thank you guys for watching. Time on, time out. Bye. Am I actually going to make a welcome video? I'll find out. I'll come with the idea in a minute. BBC3 is now on TV.